What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Pops and Bills, man. Today, we've got 51 mods on the testing list. It's Fact Sheet Friday? Check your emails for a free tractor in Farm Sim 22. It's day three of the Farming Simulator Advent Calendar. And of course, we have 18 modders to talk about today. Of course we do. Let's check it out. Stop. Before you check it out, I'm not going to be live streaming today. My stream has been moved to tomorrow. So, if you were waiting for a live stream day on a Friday, it's not going to happen. It's going to be on Saturday. We'll try and stream around 10 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow. Okay, testing list. It tests a 4 PC for FS22 of the Amazon D840. Amazon ZGB 6001. Barrel. Friedel F2WS 4000. Bushmeyer Rear Weight. Cambridge Roller. Case IH14. Case IH Vestrum Series. Case Maxim Series. Lost Cargos 8400. Disabled Tab Between Vehicles. Farm Tech Juris 2000. Vent 700 Vario Gen 6, Flegel DPW Pack, Forage Factory, Grass Mowing, High Pressure Washer Steel RE581, Hobo Farmhouse Pack, John Deere RTK Stations Pack, Joskin Betty Max RDS 6000, Joskin Betty Max RDS 7500, Joskin Tornado 3, Queco Radium 245, Kroger TAW30, K Brand Cultimer L300, K Brand Vario Master 153, Lieber TL4367, Lime Factory, Linder Lindrack 130, Liquid Support, Lizard Subsoiler 6 6MT, 9MT. Yep, it's exactly what you think it is. Man TGS AT500 Kipper. Massey Ferguson, 6700, 7700, large chassis. Old fuel stations pack. Pallets with barrels. Pecan PD1500. Placeable ramp. Placeable silos. Find your jumbo pack. Powerful spotlights pack. Shoot a maker vertigo pack. Silo King Treadline line system, 1045.35. Not a pack. Train stop. US workshop. Vehicle workshop ramps. Water tank. Weight pack. And the weight, 620. 2400 kg. It's testing four consoles for FS22 of the Kvernland Exacta EL Pack. And making our way over to FS19 mods for PC of the Deutz Far Series 9 and the Massey Ferguson 8S. All that being said, we still have 431 mod city waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is five work days. In addition to the mods and testing, seven new mods were released today on the end game mod up for FS22. Already made a video showing those off. You can find that video linked in the description below. Making our way into today's top story and shockingly giants have released some new fact sheets for fs22 i thought we were done with these like two weeks ago but i guess the joke is on me just to get this out of the way i have no idea when these are going to be released they didn't say anything about it it could be today not likely it could be monday or next week or any other day that didn't send the letter y just stay tuned to the channel and i'll let you know exactly when they drop so while we wait let's check them out here we have three sheets showing off two new tractors and two pieces of equipment. Starting off with the very popular and highly anticipated and requested Case IH Quadtrack AFS Connect. This is going to cost you $506,000, has a horsepower rating between 524 and 692, which will make it the most powerful tractor or machine in the game. It also comes with a power shift transmission, holds 1170 liters of fuel, travels at 24 miles per hour. 40 kilometers per hour, weighs a total of 20.8 tons. Our next fact sheet is another Landini, the Series 7 Robo 6 and the Samaz Tornado 252. Landini's gonna cost you 150 grand, has a horsepower rating between 190 and 225 buff bonus. Comes with a manual and power shift transmission options, likely dependent on which engine you choose. Will hold 320 liters of fuel, travels at 31 miles per hour, 50 kilometers per hour, weighs 8.1 tons, making it much larger than the Landini that we already have in game. Secondly on the sheet is the Samas Tornado 252 Snowblower. It's going to cost you 9,500 bucks, requires 90 horsepower, 2.5 meter working width at 6 miles per hour or 10 kilometers per hour, weighs 720 kilograms. And our third fact sheet today is the AB Attachment 1600 Water Tank. This tank is going to cost you eight grand, holds 6,056 liters of water only, and you'll be able to pull this behind anything, but shown here is the pickup. 2017 pulling it. I'm sure you guys are as shocked as I am to see more fact sheets releasing less than two weeks after the release of the game, but super excited to see what we're going to be getting here, hopefully sooner rather than later, of course. I know you guys want to see that quad track bad. Me too. Don't worry. If you took part in the farming simulator survey a few months ago, check your emails for the free Fent 900 Vario Black Beauty FS22 code, which will work on all platforms. Go to the end game mod up and down to the extra content tab and then enter your code. The tractor will unlock for you to use. It's not a mod. It's actually part of the game. So don't think you're going to turn it on and off. It will always be there once you've got it unlocked. This is, however, keep this in mind, the same tractor that was released with the Giants website version and available 
available for purchase in the store. So if you've already got it, maybe find a friend to give it to. Maybe they'll be able to use this and have a good time with it. The Farming Simulator Advent Calendar continues today as players can enter to win a Farming Simulator water bottle and lunchbox. There's seven ways to enter the giveaway. Join their Discord, visit them on Facebook, follow them on Twitter, visit the FS Instagram, go to the website, and follow their English and German Twitch accounts. If you'd like to enter the giveaway, check out the link in the description for entry and rules. One of the most downloaded and highly rated mods in Farming Simulator history for all platforms is making its return to FarmSim 22 as 82 Studio is continuing work on the TLX 2020. He's still in the process of bringing it over and getting everything to work out correctly, once it's all finished, it will be available for everyone on the Mod Hub for FS22. If you'd like to see him working on this and other mods live, check him out on his YouTube channel as he's going to be streaming later today from 5 p.m. Eastern Time till, well, whenever he feels like being done. Uh, that's going to be immediately after my stream finishes, so check him out. The first four-wheeler mod for Farming Simulator 19 for all platforms is about to make a comeback in a big way. As Agritono say their Lizard TRA500 Quad is finished with the modeling process and is ready to get in-game. Now, don't think this is just a redo from the FS19 version. This has been totally remodeled and is like the next year model IRL. It's fresh. I cannot wait for you guys to rip up the trails with this bad boy. Mods by 5.9 shows off his upcoming Mac Pinnacle Plus Plus today, which is still a work in progress, by the way. He's working on some new color configurations. Shown here, looks like a like a black version, a Mac Black Pinnacle, something like that. Things are coming along very nicely, he says. Also, there's no ETA on final product. He's still working on some new stuff, including lights and some performance tweaks to get it ready for the mod up testing team. He's also looking for someone who can help with German translation. So if you're in a position to help and would like to lend a hand, hit him up on Facebook, link below. On the testing list right now is the Man TGS 18500 Kipper. And here you can see it in the store, thanks to the creators, NLD Community Modding. We get to see here that's going to have different wheel brands and setups, multiple engine configurations, and three different color options, main, design, and rim color. It's also going to come with a manual transmission and hold 400 liters of fuel, traveling at 80 kilometers per hour, which is about 48, 49 miles per hour, and holds 49,000 liters of bolt crop. Keep an eye out for this one soon on the Mod Hub. But those aren't the only trucks coming to Farm Sim 22, as AgriMods have their Lizard farm line back in front of them, getting some work done on the models and textures, which have all been redone and adopted for FS22. They say it will be coming soon to the Mod Hub. Okay, let's talk about the Case IHAFS Connect quad track that will be coming to Farm Sim 22 that we showed off earlier. Carl Farms has also been working on his version of this before this announcement was even here. So what does that mean for him and his plans for the mod going forward? Well, first, he wants to find out if he can modify or improve the Giants version or not. At this time, he's also continuing work on the narrow frame Steiger and the road track versions for all platforms at the very least. But that may be possible, or there's a possibility the Giants may be working on this as well. So there's still a lot that we just don't really know. That being said, we can get a little glimpse of what he is working on because you can see here we got some new screenshots from Carl on the narrow frame version. It's not simply converting the mod over from FS19, but it's completely reworking the mod with updated model, new animations, new configurations, and new sounds. I'm very much so looking forward to what Carl brings us. Custom Modding have released their first dev vlog on their Case IH Axle Flow 250 Series Combine Harvester today. Their Case IH 3162 Terraflex Draper 45 hood header, both for all platforms. Their goal is for this to be one of their first FS22 projects, but of course, they've got some other conversions that are almost ready to go for mod up as well, so I think those are going to come first. They have their own feeder for this, grain tank, pipe specs, wheels, tires, tracks, and spreaders with more to come. The header in the past has only been functional as a test lab for flexible development for custom modding, but lots of you have been wanting to see it, so it looks like that we could be seeing this stuff, at least for all platforms. That would be very nice. I know there's at least two other big modders that are also working on Case IH250 series combines as well, and possibly more, so be ready. This one could get juicy. And one of those modders could be JHHG modding, but today we got something more green from them than red to take a look at. The John Deere S700 series combine harvester and the John Deere 612C 712C corn head. He's put together a fact sheet for us today, so let's check it out. The S700 series is going to cost you 216 grand as a 625 horsepower engine with a variable ProDrive XL transmission from John Deere. Holds 1,250 liters fuel, travels at 20 miles per hour or 32 kilometers per hour. It's nice, pretty quick. Also has different tank capacities between 14,100 and 22,905 liters. Holding wheat, barley, oats, corn, <laughs> canola, sorghum, sunflower, soybeans, and corn. 
It does it all, weighing 17.5 tons empty. As for the 612C, 712C Cornhead, it's going to cost you $52,800. Working with a 9.1 meters at 6 miles an hour, 10 kilometers per hour. Harvest sunflowers of corn, not new there, weighs 2.4 tons. We even have some different animations for the computers shown here with other equipment as well, not just the FX700. Very excited to see what JHHG Bonnie puts together for us. He always does a good job. Something a little bit smaller and more blue, but also red. Smeddy's New Holland NH70 tractor, which he says has been submitted for testing for all platforms for FS22. Since there's over 400 mods waiting right now, it could be a week or maybe even more before we see it, but it is nice to know that it is with them waiting. Smenny does say that they probably won't be releasing anything new this year, so just reworking some mods from FS19, bringing them over to FS22, at least to start with, and then working on some new mods for, F or for <laughs> 2022. That's going to be a tongue tire. Uh, hopefully more tools will become available for modders to use. They'll be taking advantage of those. However, it's not the only New Holland that's being worked on right now. AMG Agri Modding has started work on their Ford NH40 series, which is a very unique drop nose tractor. AMG says that they're trying to get this end game and working within about a week or so. So hopefully there is definitely not much of a learning curve between 19 and 22, but we know there is. Ah, I just want to see this. It's so beautiful. They're also looking to bring their Bell Grabs to FS22 from 19 as well, which they actually just released like a month or two ago. People look out for both of these. More New Holland, you say? Okay, I got you. Farm Central Soul is going to have their New Holland 30 series, which is also a mod from FS19 for all platforms. A South American long nose version with a small amount of horsepower. I think it only has like 75 horsepower. It's pretty large as well, so small amount compared to its size, but it's still a nice tractor and is pulling behind it one of his other mods, the Banderante pack which will also be making a return to Farm Sim 22. For those of you looking forward to Black Sheep Modding's upcoming mods, a couple of them are already on the testing list, and YouTuber Zyro, person in Black Sheep Modding have to do the previews, has released a new video. In that video, they showed off the Joska Betamax RDS 6000, their Lizard Subsoiler 6MT 9MT, previously called the Subsoiler 6M, and of course, the very, very highly anticipated Gator Pack. What cool thing about the subsoiler, this is going to be available in 6 meter and 9 meter versions going forward with all the same features. And I couldn't think of a better upgrade for this piece of equipment. Hey, it's good the way it is. Let's just make it bigger. <laughs> you guys want to watch that video, I'll link it below. Rooster Mods has their John Deere 2720 plow in game and rocking, saying that it's new and improved and coming soon to a field near you. This was one of his mods that did not make it to the mod hub for FS19. At least it's not showing up for me if it did. I know it's not the only John Deere Plow mod being submitted right now, so hopefully we get to see all of them. I know you guys want that too. Rooster always does a great job on their stuff, and I don't want anyone to miss out on it. Another mod that is coming soon to a dealer near you is the Lizard MT2 and MT3 for milk and water by Caster Modding. These are similar to the MT and MK trailers that he had in FS19, but are changed up a little bit to better suit FS22. They're for all platforms then, and I don't see that being any different in 22. Nico Pix has shared a new screenshot of his Big Bergman Manure Spreader in Farm Sim 22, which is very similar to the TSW6240W, which is a base game spreader that we've got. They unfortunately didn't say anything about this at all, but it is looking good. They don't make anything bad, so hopefully we get to see more information and maybe this in-game ourselves. Soon. On the testing list today was the Pecan PD 1500, and here it is from Dutch Mining Inc. This is their three point hitch pallet forks, which it can attach to anything with a three point. It's kind of nice. It will definitely make moving things around a little bit easier if you don't want to use a front load or something like that. The only concern here is that Pecan is not a licensed brand, at least I don't believe it is. So that can be the deciding factor whether we see these coming to all platforms or just PC. All we can do now is wait and see. Lobster's got some more screenshots of his very popular GPS mod being worked up. We'll show one of the screenshots here so you guys can see the menu. Lobster is one of the leaders in game-changing mods on ModUp, and he's already released a few of those mods in FS22 already. Unfortunately, he doesn't really do much for consoles, so these mods are all like 99% PC only. So if you're looking for the GPS mod, ready to use it, Jump over to Wobster's Facebook page and check him out see the other latest progress on this mod. Maybe a couple other things as well. Of course, I always keep you guys updated with those here too. And lastly, today, <laughs> it's been a long video, we get to see the woodland area on Oxygen David's next map, Comsden Farm. Of course, the big takeaway here is how much detail there is. Man, Oxy does such a great job. Oakfield, Sadie Bay, Chellington, just to name a few. And now, Comsden Farm. This will most certainly be a fan favorite when it is here. And my outros are sometimes fan favorites, depending on how long or drawn out they are, if they're shorter, just get the point across. Sometimes it's one, sometimes it's the other. 
never really figure out which one I'm going to do, one versus the other. So it's like having the time to think about it. When, when, I'm doing it again, aren't I? All right, moving on. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to our topics discussed today. That was awful. Can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods. Myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, make sure you refer to other videos as well and all that good stuff. And I don't know how to do the outro. Just face cam stuff. Show DJ's face now. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new. Join the GoHand fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Remember, live stream is not going to be today. Live stream will be tomorrow. I record the voiceover way before the uh, face cam stuff. So heads up there. Otherwise, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace. So you guys know I've got three beacons, right? I made a Bidu hat.